history. Impressive, energy, friendly, atmosphere. Being a Manchester lad and pulling on the Rad Row shirt and actually playing for the county, uh, it means a hell of a lot to me. I've been fortunate to, to travel all around the world playing in some great stadiums and this is, um, this is one of my favourites by far. When I was young, I used to read Old Trafford, I used to read his best of, you know, all these iconic names and eventually I went on and played on that great ground for 10 years with my teammates, my friends forever. Whenever I go there, all these memories come back. I first played at Old Trafford when I was a 13-year-old. The car park on the back, which is now concreted over, used to be a second ground. Of course, it's a much different ground now. I mean, it's they've turned the square around. It used to face east-west. It's now north-south. The ground's been redeveloped with the big red stand to the right of the old Victorian pavilion. I think it looks a fantastic ground now. Over the last 10 years, there's been over £60 million pounds of redevelopment gone into the ground, new stands, new facilities, new outfield, new players and media centre, and it really is a different place. But when you go out and stand in the middle, it is Old Trafford. One of the oldest venues for test cricket in the world. People love their cricket in the northwest. It's a very knowledgeable crowd, and it tends to be a lively crowd as well by the end of the day. The fans, the supporters, very loyal. Doesn't matter what you do, you win or lose, they support you and they come regularly. A lot of memories, a lot of big games, a lot of semi-finals, a lot of packed houses. And I made a lot of friends on and off the field. That's why I still have a place there. I still go there every summer for two months. When you're a Lancashire player and you get a, a hundred on your home ground for England, the reception you get from your home supporters is fantastic. I got 130 against India in 1990, but I remember the ovation coming down the steps and then when I walked back in after getting 100, um, they're very fond memories. With a full house here at Old Trafford, the noise seems to converge on the middle of the pitch and we played in semi-finals and when it's a full house, you really cannot hear yourself think. For our opening fixture to be India and Pakistan, it's something that we're very excited about. We've hosted IT20s for England against both India and Pakistan. The noise was like nothing we'd ever experienced in the club. Some people actually rung to complain that they couldn't hear the TV commentary because the noise was so loud. And it's something that is much more than a cricket match for so many people. For us, it's something that's just very exciting and very unusual to have on these shores and something we're really looking forward to to hold six major games in the Cricket World Cup. It's really, really proud for everyone involved here, players, staff, uh, and everyone that works in the ground to be able to be part of this Cricket World Cup.